The past been very rough still, but as a youth, the past been from the 17, me the same way, still mm -hmm. alive. I understand. I don't really like to talk about it because I really remember back and all them things. Eh? Mm -hmm. My name is Garnet Johnson. And I uh, don't really come from there, so I live here for a couple of times when I was 15 years. And the other day I go away and come back. I see this happen. You understand? So, what exactly happened? I really know me never did. Me just come see the tree like. Really? So what? Yeah. So really... why your neighbors told you happened? Them say the tree dropping at the house. Um, the rain blew it down or something like that. And so how do you feel about this? Well, just a hundred still from the other day, you know, but I just want to keep it up. All right. So about how much did you spend on this church and the furniture and everything that was inside? He may say. I don't really have nothing I can find but the receipt in my money about it. Because I'm for nearly 400 pounds to build it from scratch. Mm -hmm. Everything I buy, I buy it through everything from scratch one time. That it costs me to build it nearly that. So you used to, you used to be employed at CB then, say, before you, you, you started selling shoes. Tell yeah. us what happened. Well, at Caribbean Boys, it was a little stepping stone for me. Mm -hmm. But after two years, we were on the road, meeting a little accident. And it caused me to end up taking some days when the contract never got signed back. Mm -hmm. So oh, I just kind of lose work at Caribbean Which year did you lose the job? 2017. Okay, and from since then you've been selling shrimps? Yeah, since then. Okay. Before that and after. So it was some money from that job that they used to build this structure? Same as my uncle. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I don't really want the shrimp thing, I just keep it keeping up enough. So you understand? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to really piss nobody and live off of nobody. But we don't really have one feed, so we just, have, I just keep it and keep it. Yeah, what is the living situation like? Where do you live now? But I have practically some I live now in the bar. Two two chairs sleep on it. We are sleep on two chairs. Oh, yes. Alright. You say that you do not know your parents, right? Yeah. So what message do you have for them if they are watching this video? Give thanks to you guys who made me and God. Because my day here is here. As much as, as, much as me and so far, I'm gone. I still live up because I'm going to go off the soul. Have you ever tried reaching out to them? It's like, I tried two times and the, cold, the trailers get cold. The trailers get cold. So, mm -hmm. I want to reach out to me now. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't say, but they are saying me, I wait for the funeral. I live out well. Mm -hmm. Life for me now. I'm 27 now. Life for me now. Well, my mother named her Chiquita Anderson. And I'm saying she come from Chudley, Manchester. Shooters here. That's where I'm born. My mother named Chiquita Anderson. The witness who witnessed me when my born was Lana Anderson, that her sister. I don't know none of the two of me, I don't know if I have a sister or a brother. And that's that. So if anyone wants to recognize me and know them name me, please reach out to me so I can know my family. Schoolers, growing up without parents, how, how has this impacted you? Well, it impacted me a lot, you know. But each I remember is like it got up 100%. It impacted me up to 70%, but every time I remember, it gone up to 100%. I tell you. That's how I can't believe it. Do it's you? like, I really like to talk about it until I know them. <laughs> but I have to talk about it because I want to know them so they can know that. Do you feel like your life would be better had you have the appearance in your life? Yeah, no matter what, no matter if them broke, rich, happy, vexed, my life will go better from my own.